What's good guys? Hope you all are having a fantastic day so far. I've never done a video with just dumbbells, so I figured I'd come on here and do a just dumbbell shoulder and chest type workout variations to include whether you're training chest or shoulders and just implement these exercises for optimal growth and just muscle size in general. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, exercise number one is going to be a dumbbell incline press. We're gonna go for about eight to 15 reps depending on whether you're going for more size or more of that lean kind of look. A quick tip that I have for raising and lowering the weight during your pressing movements is rather than keeping your shoulder parallel to your arm, bring it slightly in and that's going to reduce overall stress on your shoulder and I find it a lot easier to actually do the pressing movement. I prefer not to do dumbbell incline press at that because it kind of, I feel like it's going to just tweak my shoulder. That's why I stay away from barbell bench press. I feel like that's one of the worst exercises you can do for your shoulder since the range of motion isn't as efficient as dumbbell pressing. Alrighty, exercise number two is going to be an incline dumbbell hex press. So this exercise in our dumbbell incline press are going to be our two size building exercises. And then we're gonna do two for more definition and getting that separation in that middle part of our chest. So for this exercise, you wanna bring the dumbbells together, squeezing them the whole time and squeezing your chest the whole time with a slight pause at the top. There's no need to go too heavy on these, maybe 12, 15 reps. I'm just doing about 35 pounds, which is perfect for me. Also, what do you guys think about my new hat? Fancy, eh? Cheers. Now we have two variations for flies. One is gonna be a flat dumbbell fly and one is going to be an inclined dumbbell fly to work multiple parts of the chest rather than just doing one part why not work on both with different height levels so on my bench I have different height increments going up from zero all the way up to 90 so either you can do a 35 degree incline to focus on the upper part of your chest or you can go 20 and either one is going to do more of an incline style get that upper chest and then we're gonna go back down to zero to work on that overall chest development and get that inner portion in your chest. Another quick tip is when you're at the bottom, don't keep your arm as straight as you would think you need to. Adding a slight bet will reduce more shoulder stress and making the exercise a little bit more efficient. guys on two shoulders we're gonna start with our front delt we're gonna be at a 90 degree incline with a slight arch in our back and we're gonna be just doing our simple dumbbell shoulder press and 
juice. So I know a good amount of people that like to bring it down one notch, make it more of an incline style of doing the press. But for me, I like to keep it almost vertical. This actually goes to 85 degrees. So that's where I'm at right now with a slight arch kind of pressing your back shoulder blades up against the seat. And once again, we're aiming for around an eight to 12 rep range on this. And then one more tip, once again, no need to keep it parallel with your body, bring it in slightly and that's gonna also reduce stress on your shoulder and make this exercise a little bit more efficient to my liking. So with a lot of new lifters, what I see them doing is just throwing the dumbbells up together and they're like, oh yeah, I completed the rep. So I like to keep about a one to two inch gap. Yes, sometimes they will hit, but just go up high enough to where you feel as if you got the most optimal stretch and that you completed the rep and then go back down once again, right past that parallel section to get a good enough stretch at the bottom as well. So typically when I train shoulders, I typically just do one for each part of the shoulder for your front, side, and rear. There's really no need to train your front out as much as your other ones because it already gets trained when doing your dumbbell pressing movements such as incline. But we're going to be doing our shoulder press, front raises. I started off at 25 pounds and dropped to 10 pounds when going to failure. Really to just increase that intensity. Then we're gonna do our go-to side delt exercise, which is just gonna be standard dumbbell lateral raise, about 12, 15 reps, and rear delt fly with dumbbells. Since rear delts are a pretty stubborn muscle group, you pretty much have to go higher intensity of about 15 to 20 reps. So we're gonna do a leaning rear delt fly when sitting on either just a seat or a bench. Cheers.
Alrighty guys, pretty simple video today, just dumbbells only, bench included, chest and shoulders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share this with a friend who's trying to get big and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of a video. Comment your video request down below and cheers. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out.